Hello, welcome to First Christian Church Disciples of Christ in Pasadena, Texas. We are recording today from the Dalton House. My name is Judy Dalton. I'm senior pastor at First Christian Church. This is the worship for May 15th. Please leave a comment and let us know you're worshiping with us. I want to let you know that we have obtained the correct licensing for the recording and sharing of this worship service, including the song we're going to sing. It is covered by our CCLI license, which is number 4391628. If you have a candle, go ahead and light it now. This is a sign of God's presence with us as we worship, even remotely. I'm actually on sabbatical right now, um, but our church wanted to keep an online presence, and it seemed um, most expedient for me to just go ahead and do it. So what we've done is I've selected some of my favorite stories. These are mostly folk tales. And so um, every Sunday we're going to have a scripture, a story, and a song, and of course communion. Uh, so I'm so glad that you're worshiping with us. I hope this for story will speak to you. Um, today's story comes from Japan. Um, and it's a wonderful story about... Um, being prepared to learn, um, which is a really great thing for today because at our on-campus um, worship service, we are going to be um, celebrating our uh, high school graduates. That's why I'm wearing maroon. Um, I graduated from Northside High School uh, in Fort Worth, and um, our color was maroon. Our scripture today comes from Matthew 18, verses 1 through 5. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and they asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a child and put the child on his knee uh, and said to them, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a wise teacher. People would come to him from far, far away to seek his counsel and ask for his wisdom. Many would come and ask him to teach them, to enlighten them, to guide them. Um, the good teacher, full of the Spirit, seldom turned anyone away. Now one day, an important man, a man used to command and obedience, came to the teacher. I have mastered all the arts and commerce, the important man announced. I have learned all there is to know of history and science. I come today to ask you, to teach me about God, open my mind to enlightenment, said the important man. The tone of the important man's voice was one used to getting his own way. The wise teacher smiled and he said that they should discuss the matter over a cup of tea. The wise teacher prepared the tea, and when the tea was ready, the teacher poured his visitor a cup. He poured and poured, and the tea rose to the rim of the cup and began to spill over the cup onto the table, 
to the edge of the table and onto the robes of the important man. Finally, the important man shouted, Enough! You are spilling tea all over. Can you not see that the cup is full? The teacher stopped pouring and smiled at his guest. So it is. So are you. You are like this teacup, so full of yourself that nothing more can be added. There's no room for God. It is not possible for you to learn until you empty yourself. Come back to me when there is room in your cup. The song we're going to sing is... Um, considered a contemporary Christian song, but it's written like many of our folk songs, and it's really easy. Uh, it's very easily adapted uh, to uh, all kinds of circumstances. So we're going to sing one verse with the original uh, lyrics, and then we're going to substitute the word humbleness for holiness. Holiness. Holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. Holiness, holiness is what you want from me. So take my heart and form it. Take my mind and transform it. Take my will and conform it to yours, to yours, O oh Lord. Humbleness, humbleness is what I long for. Humbleness is what I need. Humbleness. Humbleness is what you want from me. Take my heart and form it. Take my mind, transform it. Take my will and conform it to yours, to yours. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Jesus Christ welcomes us to his supper. He is our host and we are his guests. And he has provided for us loaf and cup. Let us pray. Oh God, we pray for these, that which we eat, and that which we drink. Give us your spirit to see us through this week. And may we, O oh God, always make room for you in our busy, blessed lives. Amen. We remember on the night Christ Jesus sat at table with his disciples, how he took the bread and he blessed it, giving thanks to God. And then he broke the bread and gave it to the disciples. And he said to them, Take, eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In a similar manner, after supper, Jesus took the cup of their meal. After giving thanks to God, he gave the cup to the disciples. And he said to them, this is the cup of the new covenant. My blood for, poured out for the forgiveness of sin. So drink of it, all of you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and 
Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you to follow Jesus. If you want to be a Christian, contact First Christian Church of Pasadena. The phone number is 281 991 Four five eight five. If you're already a disciple of Christ, recommit your life to following Jesus today and put your faith into action. I have a couple of ideas. Read Psalm 148 this week. 148. This goes along with our on-campus worship service and it's just a really great one to read. If you're interested in an outreach opportunity, Call the church and ask what our monthly outreach is and give to your local congregation or First Christian Church uh, of Pasadena. Um, you know, we do everything in our power to be good stewards of every gift entrusted to our care. Our mailing address and Venmo information are included on our Facebook page. Have a great week. I love you, and I pray for you every day, even while I'm on sabbatical. Be safe, be smart, and be aware of God's Spirit leading you this week and always. God bless you. Amen.